Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Doom series and in this video we are gonna make our engine 3D. Alright so we are gonna begin by kind of having some modular way to organize our code so we will create a new uh, engine.h header here and inside of this we are gonna go ahead and implement an engine init function which will take a pointer to a VOD file and of course we will need to include the VOD header and for now we will just allow the engine to load a single map and later on we will add a menu and stuff perhaps but uh, for now let's just uh, give it a single map name and in engine.c we will create an implementation of this and now I am gonna open up main.c and inside of this we are gonna go ahead and copy this map loading code and go ahead and paste this here now a couple of things we are gonna change of course include vod.h and in here we are not gonna give the address since it's already a pointer and we are gonna include stdio.h here as well and we are gonna not return with an error code just return and in here we are gonna go ahead and uh, basically remove our whole this uh, function uh, this you know remapping stuff because we are not gonna be using this anymore and all of this as well and um, in here we are gonna implement two new functions one is gonna be taking a delta time called engine update and the other is gonna be engine render but first of all let's just call engine update here with the correct delta time we are not gonna use this angle anymore and uh, now uh, inside of here you can see that we are reading our map here we'll actually read with the map name instead of having a hard-coded map name so that inside of uh, here after we are done initializing our renderer we are gonna initialize our uh, VOD file as well with the correct name here like that and uh, now let's go down here and uh uh, you can see that we have got all of this we are gonna go here and we are gonna create an engine render function which will not take any arguments or anything and here we'll just call engine render like that and we can go ahead and copy and paste these functions here and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, have they're gonna have nothing in their implementation for now but now we need the next thing we need to do is have a camera system a uh, 3d camera so we're gonna create a camera dot h header and uh, in here we are gonna add a struct called camera which will have a bunch of attributes related to the camera uh, for now we're gonna start with very basic we're gonna have a position a yaw and a pitch for the rotation of the camera and uh, we are also gonna have to have some direction vectors of the camera which are gonna be useful when calculating the view matrix and also when moving so for that we are gonna have a forward right and up vector here and uh, now we are gonna go ahead and use camera update uh, direction function uh, direction vectors and we this is gonna take a uh, camera pointer and update all of the forward right and up to the correct values uh, we'll implement this later first of all let's just create a camera dot c though for now and uh, let's go ahead and uh, paste the, this function here currently we're gonna leave it empty we'll implement this in a second first of all let's go ahead and do the other stuff so in here uh, in the engine update function we are gonna go ahead and update our camera but first of all we are gonna of course create a camera here which will be static a global camera for the scene and we'll initialize it by passing a camera uh, by passing the position and everything of the camera and we actually don't need to specify it here explicitly we can just say 0 0 and 3 uh, you know Z location is gonna be 3 the yaw is gonna be negative 90 degrees which is pi by 2 and uh, the pitch is gonna be 0 and we're gonna leave everything else uninitialized since that's gonna be updated by this function so we're gonna call this function here with our camera every time we update it and when we are rendering we are going to use render set view to set the view matrix correctly and uh, we are going to go under matrix dot h and here we are going to need to add two new functions for our uh, view the first is going to be uh, for 3d we are going to have to have a perspective projection instead of an orthographic projection so we will create a perspective function here and it will take a uh, the f uh, field of view of the camera then the aspect and then the near and far planes of course and uh, let's actually call it mat for perspective and in here we are going to have a mat for look at here as well which is going to be used for calculating our view matrix which is going to take a i a target and an up vector and calculate a look at matrix from that of course we'd actually need to implement this in a second but first of all uh, when setting the view we are going to use mat for look at to set the view here and we're going to use camera dot position and camera dot position plus camera dot forward for the uh, target and camera dot up and actually we can't add them like this we need to use vec3 add function here which we don't have yet but we'd add in in a second and this will calculate a correct view matrix now we just need to implement the correct matrix and vector functions and everything so that it works so let's dive into some math now okay so now we are gonna go ahead and go under our uh, globe all of these files and let's open up our vector.h and in here we are gonna add the basic vector operations so let's begin by vec3 add which will add two vectors uh, which we will just call this a and b and it will take those two vectors and add them component wise of course and we are gonna have a subtraction function as well and then we are gonna have a scale function which would uh, scale a vector by a scalar 
So we are gonna go ahead and uh, copy all of these and let's go under vector.c for implementation of this. These are pretty trivial to implement. We can, for the add, we are gonna just uh, add each of the components and return that value. And uh, for the subtract, we can implement this here or actually let's just go ahead and copy the implementation of that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this here. The only thing that's gonna change is that we are gonna now subtract instead of adding. And uh, for scale, we are gonna go ahead and do it very similarly. We are gonna just go ahead and uh, for each of the elements, we are gonna multiply by s here and uh, yeah that would go to those basic operations implemented now of course we currently don't have the other uh, necessary stuff here for example we uh, this does not give us any errors anymore but we do need to implement the look at and other functions okay so since the math part is gonna be pretty boring I'm gonna just go ahead and copy and paste the actual matrices you can find them pretty easily on like online sites and uh, uh, the actual matrix you can see we've got all of the like according to the mathematical formula we just copy and paste that and we need to now add some functions to our vector class to make this work which is gonna be first of all we are gonna create a vec3 dot function and uh, which is gonna have a a and b and then the cross function which is gonna return a, a vector instead of a float uh, and these two are gonna be necessary for our use we are gonna put in paste this in vector.c and remember that you can check out the github repo if you ever get stuck on anything and now let's move on to the implementation of these functions now for the implementation for dot we're just gonna go ahead and a dot x multiply b dot x, b dot x and then you know multiply each of the component and add them it's just the standard how you calculate this and for the cross we're gonna uh, just do the standard mathematical vector cross here as well so the x value is gonna be a dot y multiply b dot z minus a dot z multiply b dot y and uh, uh, then the y value a dot z multiply b dot x and you know we are gonna just do it like that for each of those values and we calculate it correctly. And uh, now yeah we are pretty much done with our matrix and our vector stuff that we needed to add we can close all of these and uh, uh, now we are gonna change this a bit. So now we do need to if you remember uh, we need to update our direction vectors but another thing we need to do is we need to update the projection matrix. So we are gonna go ahead and create a function in the renderer to allow the setting of the projection matrix as well along with the view matrix by default our renderer is a completely 2d renderer but now we can modify it to be 3d by supplying our own projection and view matrices and um, uh, for the set projection matrix we are going to do it pretty similarly except that we are going to use the projection location currently of course we are not storing that so we are going to go ahead uh, and in here we are going to store our along with view location we are going to store projection location as well and let's put this in a separate line so that you know the matrices are in one line and other stuff in another so yeah with that we have got all of this now we can move down here where we are actually creating our matrix uh, you know setting our uniform uh, locations and in here we're gonna get the projections location and set it like that and now we need to assign this here now for that we need to access the size of this and you might say let's just have this uh, init function of the engine take the size however the render already takes the size when it initializes so we can just create a function called render get width to get the width and we can also create a get height function here but what would be much better would be to just use a get size function which returns a vector 2 so with that we are gonna go here and uh this is just going to return a vector 2 with our width and height and uh, yeah we are going to go under inj.c and use this function so we are going to use render uh, set projection and we are going to set it to a matrix called projection which we are going to create here with the mat for perspective function uh, we are going to define the uh, field of view in a second and uh, for the uh, aspect ratio we are going to say size.x by size.y and we are going to supply the near and far as well and for the size we are going to just uh, get the size of the renderer and for fov we are going to go ahead and define it here and uh, we are going to say six 60 degree FOV which is gonna be pi by 3 and uh, it seems to be giving an error here for some reason 5 by 3 is not defined it seems uh, nope it's not so we are gonna just get our pi and divide it by 3 manually and uh, yeah that should work and now we are gonna go ahead and move this up here and uh, all that's left to do now is implement the cameras uh, uh, stuff here and I'm gonna move the view matrix into a separate uh, you know statement to kind of make it a bit more obvious and now we just need to implement the function for calculating the, the cameras directions Alright, so for updating the direction vectors, we are going to set forward. We could use normalize here, but uh, since we are going to use trigonometry to calculate it, it's already going to be normalized, so we don't need to do that. So in here, we are going to create a vector 3, and for each of the elements, the x element is going to be the cos of this camera yaw value, and remember, this must be in radians, multiplied by the cos of the pitch. Now, as far as the y is concerned, it's going to be just the sine of the pitch, and as far as the z is concerned, it's going to be the sine of the yaw multiplied by the cos of the pitch.
uh, like that the camera speech actually and uh, the right and the left and other ones they are calculated very easily we can just say right it's gonna be uh, we're gonna actually first fall open up camera dot h here and uh, uh, we're gonna make sure that we define a world up here which is gonna represent a vector that's gonna represent the up direction of our global world which is gonna be the y axis positive y and in here we're gonna use vec3 normalize to uh, you know cross between the cameras forward and the world up and that would give us our right vector and for the up vector we're gonna do it similarly but cross between the right and the forward vector so the right and the forward and after that we can just say that yeah that's pretty much all of the vectors that we need now we can test our code out to make sure that it is working basically and for this we are gonna go here and you can see nothing happens but I'm gonna go down here and uh, uh, we are gonna create a mesh here and we're gonna just copy the mesh that we use in the render for 2d rendering for now we'll just render that but uh, later on of course we'll be modifying this mesh a bit and adding some more stuff and this mesh is gonna form the basis of our walls but uh, uh, for the 3d view of the bot but for now let's just go ahead and render this uh, mesh with the unit transform so we're gonna pass a quad mesh here we're gonna pass identity and we're gonna render it in white color so with that now let's go ahead and run this and you can see that we get it here right now and that means that uh, well our you know, view matrix is working and our 3d projection is working as well anyways well, guys we are going to end this video here and with that we have got our 3d system set up and in the next video we'll be looking into some input and stuff so that we can fly around our 3d scene and then we'll begin translating our what file into a 3d mesh that we can then use uh, to kind of you know have a 3d representation of our what file so i'll see you in the next one Make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people as well and bye.